Good afternoon and happy Wednesday. This is the first time we've done this on a Wednesday, Timmy. Um, hey, wait, where's where'd Ty go? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sorry hey, to the audience out there. Uh, yeah. You're stuck with me. Has a, he has a very, he's a big following, just so you know. He has a cult following. It's a cult mm -hmm. following. No, yeah, so first we've, uh, Wednesday program. Here we go. It's switching up a little bit. Yeah, so we've, we've done these every Tuesday and Thursday over the last, what is this, number 12, Tim, episode 12. Um, we're going to move it to once a week on Wednesdays, um, but the repository of all the last 12, 12 episodes or 11 episodes are um, on our YouTube page. So we'll show you how to get to that. Um, and we're sending out follow-on emails to, to direct you to that. So if, if you've missed one in the past, feel free to jump on to those. They're, they're quick, 15, 20 minutes at the max. Um, and no pun intended, that's what we're going to talk about today, Max Ad. So yeah. we, we've touched on certain aspects of Max Ad. There's me if you if you need my contact. But um, we, we've talked about, we've done an episode on the Max dashboard and some of the components in this. But we're going to really dive in today to um, the Max Ad portion of it through the Max inventory. So Tim, why don't, why don't you show the folks on how to how to navigate yeah, so, and get to, get to there? Yeah, like the Max dashboard is kind of like the what you're looking at to kind of just understand where the work is at. But, you know, the real heavy lifting inside Max happens inside um, Max inventory. So I get a lot of questions, or should I say, I, I know a lot of people who use this tool as their inventory management tool. You know, if you're a UCM or a GSM and you're going in there and pricing, you can do all that stuff here. But initially this was designed for the guy who does the merchandising. The, you know, your lot guy, if you have one of those who, who does photos and, and comments, and that's what this was initially designed to do. Um, and I think it does a pretty good job of that, right? Um, yeah. You know, you'll notice the alerts that we talked about in the dashboard here are now in tab form. So you'll see here, you know, it needs review, um, needs, you know, need, under each one of these tabs here has all of those sub um jobs that need to get done so here are cars with no trim or ads that need review we'll talk about that in a minute cars that need to be priced so you could do pricing in here um either has zero price or needs to be repriced it's a bucket jumper uh, all your merchandising alerts are here um so cars without packages um need book out reviews no car facts not online i'm sorry low online or, or low price comparison and then this last one here is really critical it's, this is your photos tab so they're your, your vehicles with no photos or low photos. So this kind of matches the Max dashboard here. So Patrick, is this quiz for you? What does uh -oh. the need What does the need <laughs> review tab mean? <laughs> Do you remember? <laughs> I got to go in the wayback machine, but yeah. So you know those cars there. Um, you know there, there's something that needs something needs reviewed, and and you can see the age of those vehicles. Um, more than likely, it means that the ad hasn't been gone through and, and created. You can you notice that it's the same amount of number as the need pricing. Mm -hmm. So if you look um, under the the, the uh, internet price, you can see those are all zeros. So you can you can actually knock out a lot of the stuff under the needs review. Um, I think I think you know the daily the daily to do when you come in. You know the the game that we're playing is to get these as close to zero as possible, and then we know that you know our our alerts are are in, in good step. I really like the um, the merchandising alerts, to be honest with you, because a lot of times you'll see aged inventory in there that could possibly be, you know, spruced up a bit with package information. If we don't have, if you're an, um, like in this particular case, we're in a Lexus store, maybe they have a, a GMC Denali on the lot and it didn't pull the packages over because they don't have a, a sister store with a GM product. So, you know those those tabs, just like Tim said on the on the home page, they directly correlate to that. And you know you can we separate them so you can you can knock them out as a uh, as you go. Yeah. You want to so, click into one of those? Yeah. Hold on. One little trick or one thing I want to make sure people are aware of up top here. You can filter um, by used or new or both. All right. Not a lot of people know that. Mm -hmm. And then you know depending upon which inventory you're in, you can show all the inventory or the approved inventory. So this would be the inventory approved is what we're sending out um, online or to your uh, web distributor. And then offline would be the cars yeah. that we're not sending to your web provider. Okay, Hendrick locations use the exemption feature that we have, not related to a lot of people, not a big deal. Can you go into that offline for a second? Mm -hmm. 
So call, there's many different reasons why you wouldn't have a vehicle online, right? Um, maybe you're waiting on a title or it's, uh, it's going through the shop and you just don't want to put it online yet. But let's say that you have a handful of cars that, that you need to put online uh, and you don't want to go through each one individually. There are some bulk actions that you can do. So under that, under that tab right there, you would check off the ones that, that you want to, um, that you want to send online. And then you would just, just simply, cars here, yeah. yep. So you simply go down there and put mark online and, and it'll push it online. And you can also do that um, with your approved inventory. So let's say something's going to the auction and you want to, you know, take it out, take it off your website because maybe you sold it today at the auction. You can easily, quick and easily take it offline that way too. So I think, you know, a lot of people utilize that, um, you know, depending on where the car is at, what, you know, what, what's happening with the car or what, what the certain um, you know parameters are around that vehicle. You want to take a look at a specific vehicle? Sure, you got one. All right, so this seat search box up here in the top right, it's, it's pretty fuzzy, it works pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna type in a 2018 um, GMC, that happens to be what we're gonna look for today. And you'll notice how it pulls up just that unit, all right, that you're looking for, um, regardless whether it's um, online or offline. And um, to view the, the details, so Patrick covered all of those like actions that needed to get done. You'll notice here, actions required, this is blank. And so this vehicle actually doesn't require any actions. It's, it's fully, according to us, it's fully merchandised. But let's just go in there because I think it's a really good example of, of a, a car and we can kind of walk through some of the features of, of Max Ed. So um, what do you like to go to first here, Patrick? What do you say, frameworks? Check it, talk about frameworks? Yeah, frameworks or, you know, if this car wasn't completely, you know, if all the actions weren't um, taken care of already, where it okay. says needs action, you see all those green checklists. Yeah. What, what I usually tell our dealers is, you know, if you have a red X there, that means that some sort of action needs, is required on that vehicle. So you can see that this, this individual has gone through and um, put all the packages on the vehicle whether it was through our, our, through our auto load or they went in individually and did it. Uh, make sure the car is booked out because that actually transfers into the ad description. You can see in the preview, it says $1,400 below NADA. If that vehicle wasn't booked out, we wouldn't know what it had on it. So to show that value to, we, Tim and I always use our moms as an example. When my mom's searching online and she sees that preview and she sees that it's $1,400 below NADA, she thinks she's get, she's getting a good deal, right? And it's all about perceived value. Um, Carfax, most most of you have the automatic Carfax pull on, so you know a lot of times that's already done for you. Um, key information. Go ahead and click on that. So this this person has gone in and added a bunch of uh, check boxes. Um, we have some standard ones on there, but if there's something that you do unique at your dealership, um, where you you know you put um, uh, you have your own safety inspection or your own 131 point you know, inspections or, you know, whatever, or the free car washes for life, you know, whatever it is, you can add that quick and easily to each car uh, just by checking the box. Here's what um, I like to tell people. Key information is a place where one, if you find yourself wanting to put specific text around a vehicle into the ad, we can do that for you here automatically. Two, if there's only things you know about a vehicle, right? Like he said, new tires, new brakes that you want to put in the description, we can do that for you here. Um, yeah, these guys did a pretty good job. Um, I've seen as many as a hundred in here. I like, I really like the one that says about 60 K. So this probably means they did the 60 K service on the mm -hmm. Lexus. So it probably throws that content in. Let's just see, right? Like, so we would select that. Notice how the regenerate ad button comes uh, red up here. So if we wanted to get that text thrown into the ad, right, we would hit the regenerate back and there it goes. It throws it in there. Let's see if we can find it. Mm -hmm. Nope. Oh yeah, 60K major service done right here. So has been all been done. There you go. So like there, there's value there, I, I would imagine, especially for, for a Lexus. Tim, do you have any uh do you have any clients that go in and actually kind of write their own their I own do. jargon in there? Yes. So I got a guy um here in Wilmington, he buys a lot of custom lifted trucks. Mm -hmm. And he's always wanting to add that sort of information specifically either in the preview um, or maybe in the second box. And you'll notice here where I'm putting, you know, clicking on, um, if I'm, I highlight my, put my mouse into the, the, 
this paragraph, it grays out and you hit edit. And this is where you can start to like type your own text. So, you know, custom lift. I don't know, what's a custom? 35 inch super swampers. 35, all right, what the heck is that? Oh, super <laughs> swampers? Yeah, they're tires. They're tires. <laughs> okay, 35 inch big tires. There you go. You guys get the idea, right? Notice hey, I how grew it up, goes I grew red up in, here. I grew up in, in Florida in the sticks, all right? So. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Notice how it turns red. What that means is that we've locked, we're going to lock that text. And if we were to regenerate the ad, it will stay there for you, okay? Because this is custom text, you know? If you wanted to, to refresh the next time you came through, you would hit unlock here. So I'm not gonna put on there because I don't think that this, this car has super swampers, but you get the idea. <laughs> It'd be pretty cool if it did. So you mentioned frameworks, Tim. Once, once you run the folks through frameworks and what, what that actually means. Yeah, so um, every time that you um, run an, an ad, uh, price a car in, either first look or max, we're gonna automatically generate a very simple ad here, a basic ad for you. Matt Patrick kind of went through that the action that needs to get required to, to kind of make the, the, the second level ad. The framework, we'll set a, um, a framework automatically for all of your vehicles, but let's, let's say that um, you, know, you happen to do a lot of trucks with super swampers on them and you wanna like create a framework that tells about your you know, your dedication to selling that inventory and servicing it right and the, the, you know, all the things that you do, especially around selling, you know, lifted trucks, we could create a framework for you that does that. Or maybe, you know, um, you're selling a minivan. We want to talk about all the safety features. So you might select family enhanced or Cup like holders. this cash car. Mm -hmm. This is going to talk about the all, you know, the great price or the, the value versus the book. So, you know, if you're in the system and you want to like, you know, play around with the frameworks, get in there and, and see what it does to your ads. You'd be surprised. It'll, it'll make things look real fresh without having to do a whole bunch of typing. Yeah. Now to, sh to shift gears a little bit, if you scroll back up, um, we're going to, we're going to add from our VIN explosion and also the, the proprietary database that we have of information about each one of these cars. We're going to add the equipment and the options. But if it's something that you want to go in and, and review or, you know, maybe there was a aftermarket DVD installed and you don't want to type it in, you just want to add it as equipment. There's, there's a couple tabs inside of this uh, approval page. So if you go to equipment, this will show you the things that, that we have, you know, added to this car based upon, you know, what we know is on this. But you can go through, it's just like booking out the car during an appraisal process or when you're booking it out for NADA or Black Book. Same, same concept here. So, you know, if, if, if we may have missed something or just something you want to add something that, that we didn't catch, you can go ahead and do it there. Same with options. So um, options, you know, this Lexus store, you know, he went in here and he looked and he said, all right, it has these different option packages if we didn't load it for him manually. But Tim, if you scroll down, these are the ones that are in the ad description, but is there any more? So there's, there's some other additional option packages that could be on this car. We're not saying that they are, but we give you the um, the option package code, and then also, you know, the, the description of what's in that particular package. And what I like the most is the original MSRP value of that package when that car was brand new, because that's going to push not only into your ad description, but it's going to push to your digital showroom. And we talked a few episodes ago about selling the value. And if you have, if this particular truck has nine thousand dollars worth of additional option packages from a base model and it's priced fourteen hundred dollars below kelly blue book should we be discounting our price you know selling selling based on evidence versus uh versus price um photos so we pull in photos mm -hmm. um we can pull in photos from you know, if you use a lot service like i don't know who's out there excite all sorts of guys or, or, or if you want to upload photos through us um, oops, nice, we got a little uh, error here. You'd be able to see the photos here. Um, obviously, we've talked many times today, um, that, I'm sorry, in this show about this pricing. So you, you, know, you can toggle to the pricing screen. And then we come all the way back to where the approval, that's kind of where we started today. That's the, the description. One thing to note on here, Tim, if, if you do make a price change here, if you scroll down a little bit, you can update your price and add 
right from here. So if um, in this case, we're you know $1,400 below NADA, if we change the price by two, $300, it'll update that text inside the ad description and just approve it and it, it sends it out in the next, uh, the next data feed, yeah. which is pretty, uh, pretty consistent throughout the day. So to wrap up, to kind of uh, sum it up, when you come into Max Ad, um, all the, uh, the, the your, your to dos, you know, if you're the, the merchandising guy, kind of live right here. And I like to tell everybody, if you did everything you were supposed to do on every one of these cars every day, you would you shouldn't have to do much as the as the car ages. But you can check the either the Max dashboard or these buckets on where to take action, right? And remember that if you if you do make changes to any of the ads here, you're going to need to regenerate the ad. Okay, that the red box in the top right, right, and then you're going to need to approve the ad. And I and I, I I go into that because Patrick, we have a question here from Scott, um, which is a pretty good one. He says, does does that a take after the overnight refresh? And the answer is yes. So um, any changes that you make and you hit approve, right? We store that in Max, and depending upon how many times we send out to a particular provider, right, it'll go out in the next export, right? Um, and then obviously when it shows up on that particular website would depend on how often that website provider or third party listing it. site processes it. Okay. <clears throat> Could be a couple hours or a day, you know, so. So Tim, I, I have something to close on. Um, I see I'm, I'm wearing a collared shirt today with our Max logo, but you're wearing okay, a t-shirt. Does that t-shirt have any significance uh, to you? No, just the no. first one I grabbed when I, out of my Iron Man t-shirt pile. Well, why don't you tell everybody you've done an Ironman before? I've done two. You've done two <laughs> Ironmans. So yeah. I'm just, I'm a better person for knowing you for that. So, <laughs> well, so like, you know, I, I I'm trying not, to stay motivated, you know? I have not done any Ironman. It's so. a quarantine 15 going on. So, <laughs> all right. All right. Hey, great. This was a really good episode. Um, so, next Wednesday, two o'clock. Uh, what's the deal? I don't know. We'll figure something out. We'll figure something out to talk about. Thanks everyone, have a great day and stay safe. All right, take care.